What's up everybody? Scooter Boo Boo here. What we're going to try to do here is, is we're going to try to get ourselves this here Drunium flying again. As you seem to recall, if you will, or if you don't, welcome to the channel. There you go. We got one propeller not doing its job. Pinion gear is completely stripped out. Which one? I'm not sure, but we'll find out. On to the next step. Obviously, take the battery out. Safety first and all that good stuff. Alrighty. I have already pre ordered pinion gear sets from protocolny.com. Don't know if you can see that. That's the part number upside down and right side up. Take the top off. So we'll take the third off. Nothing fancy. Torsors. Alright. Oops. The screwdriver that does come with the drone should be adequate to do this. Alright. Hey, by Husky. So, take these screws out here. Alright. things it's helpful to have a screwdriver that is magnetized especially with these small screws all right so there are different size screws now for the landing gear guard I will keep these screws with it just in case now these screws appear to be of a different size so keep them together for the part it's supposed to be with now your first reaction would be is to try to go ahead and take that gear out of there. Um, I mean, you can take it out of there right there, but the problem is is it's a very tight fit. I've already tried this before. I was able to get that screw out of or I mean screw to get this pinion gear out of there. See how it's just barely flopping on there? That's the power of these motors. The only reason it didn't come out of there is is because underneath there's like a little uh, rib on the end of this gear this gear is completely stripped out on the inside not on the outside take out the top screws these are a different size and we'll put these to the side remembering what they are for all right now take the bottom part of the arm so you can see these wires are within a couple of holders. This is kind of the tricky part. Because you want to be able to push this motor out of there, as you can see. But you got to be cognizant of these wires at the same time. You're going to need slack as you go. Do the best you can. Alright. You should be able to keep it out ongoing. It is best to take the motor out as far as you can. Just don't screw those wires up. We'll be ordering a motor to go with it. Oop, there it goes. Alright, so at that point, you want to put that to the side because you do not want to put it in the bag with the good thing in gears. Mind you, this is not going to be easy. I'm not going to sit here and pretend it will be. <clears throat> See, told you, it's going to be hard. I was kind of hoping to have, be able to take this motor completely out of problem is is you can't fool the wires too many times or they'll break and as you can see while we got it out this motor has blue and red the other motors are black and white all right the blue and red is clockwise the black and white is counterclockwise Carefully work those wires. All right, that's enough to get the motor out. Just a bit more. Try to keep those wires straight as I can. This is the optimal way to do it. Don't want no oil there, do we? As you can see, I've got 
the end cap rib on the gear, the pinion gear, facing up on the counter. I will be pressing down with the motor. Straight down. To get it started. There it goes. That is the best way to do it. Brett and his damn drone.